What's going on, you guys? It's me, Anarchy Ninja. So today, I want to talk to you guys about Battlefield 4. And there's a lot of news and speculation swirling about. And I know there's going to be a lot more released on the 27th, so I'm looking forward to that. But from what we know so far, and what are my thoughts? Basically, what one thing everyone's talking about is those trailers. They've seen a submarine, some say. Some say there's going to be a submarine. Some say it's going to be naval warfare. That's going to be pretty interesting. I, I don't know what they mean by naval warfare. I'm guessing they mean like destroyers and that sort of stuff. But do we control them? Is it like a tank? You know, that's... Cause some said maybe we're going to fight on top of them. But I don't see Battlefield doing that. It's not Call of Duty where they have those small maps and you fight on a ship. It would be more you control the ship. That's the whole point of Battlefield, right? So that would look pretty interesting. And... um Another thing, one of my thoughts that I hope they do is they, they fix suppression in the next one. That's, that's really what I hope they do, because I can't stand suppression. For a game that doesn't have a whole lot of lag, kind of ruins it to throw something in there that make the bullets not register. That's just my thoughts on it. But And another thing, by the sounds of it, it's going to be 64 players on PC, and I've heard 24 on console. Now, I don't want 64 players on the console. Some of you might, but that's just going to be a nightmare in my opinion. The lag is going to be bad. I, it's not going to be able to hold that many people. I wouldn't mind them putting it to 24 players. Keeping it there, that would be fine. I don't know if it will be 24 versus 24. That that would be interesting. Maybe we could up it a little bit. That I, 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 I wouldn't mind that. But maybe not as much lag. These next consoles should be pretty good, I'm guessing. And w another thing is Battlefield 4 will come out on the old consoles and the next-gen consoles as well. So you don't have to get a new console just to play Battlefield 4. So that's a good thing because not everyone can afford it. I'm going to try to get the new Xbox when it comes out and get it on that. But we'll see if money's too tight then. Maybe I'll just get it for the Xbox 360. I don't know. We'll see what happens when it comes up. But And there's going to be really big maps, I've heard as well. Bigger than the ones they've done so far. I'm guessing like Firestorm size. Maybe some of the... It might be bigger, it might be smaller. I don't know. I'm sure they'll mix it up, but... For the PC, it's got to be real big, obviously, but I'm more of a console player, so I'm, I kind of hope they don't make them that big, because that's going to kind of ruin it for the console per side of gaming. They need to keep it smaller, in a way. Not too small, but they need to keep it where there's a lot of action. I don't want to be walking around for five minutes looking for a guy to shoot or a tank to blow up. Five minutes to get from objective to objective, that, it's just not going to be that fun. So I'm sure they're working on that. They're probably figuring it out. And another thing they saw in some of these uh, screenshots they released was the skyline of a city. And a lot of people are saying that is a Chinese city. I think it's Shanghai, if I might be mistaken about that. But it's a Chinese city. So th they already said Americans and Russians will be in the in the game. Those are the main factions. So what's up with China? Are, is it going to be the Chinese involved now? I've heard some say it will be terrorists involved like it was in the previous one. They'll have some terrorists thrown in there. I don't know, so that will be interesting to see, but I'm, a, I'm guessing since they're putting a Chinese city there, I'd like to kind of give us a hint towards it has something to do with China now, so it'll probably be some Chinese maps, that'll be pretty awesome. Fight on the streets of Shanghai or wherever, that'd be pretty cool. And um, another thing, I've heard that they're already making a DLC. This is kind of just speculation, I'm not sure, I heard it from other people, which kind of makes me mad. I don't think they should be making a DLC already if the game's not out yet. That's just the way I feel. Why are you working on something when the game the game's not out yet? You know what I mean? It's just like, if that game's already ready to come out, why isn't it out? So why are we working, you know? That's just my thoughts. That could just be speculation. I don't know, but that's just one thing I heard. And another thing, I heard they're going to bring back a lot of the same guns. There's going to be new guns, obviously, but they're going to bring back a lot of the old guns. I'm sure they're going to make tweaks and mods, modifications to them. So we'll see how that is. I hope there's some... Pretty good new guns. I don't want none of those overpowered shotguns, though, with frag rounds. That was a nightmare when the game first came out. And the FAMAS, the one-hit kill, basically, just one burst, you know. But I'm sure they're going to do it right. I hope they learn from their mistakes. Because I don't want to be playing a game that has a lot of bugs when it comes out. None of us do, you know. But I hope they learn from their mistakes. Improve on battle from Battlefield 3 to Battlefield 4. Don't just turn it into Call of Duty where it's the same thing every game, just different maps, you know. They gotta actually make improvements and keep the game getting better, and not the same crap. So I'm hoping they're gonna do that. I really believe they will, because they've had quite a, quite some time to make it. And I also heard the beta 
So it's going to be coming out in September, is what I've heard. So let's keep up with that. And um, you get it early, I'm guessing, if you order pre-ordered uh, Medal of Honor Warfighter. So there was a reason to get that game, I guess, right there alone, just to get the beta. <coughs> but another thing was the battle log. Are they going to use the same battle log system and, like, put them together, kind of? Maybe you can see your both stats on the same battle log. Are they going to make a new one? just for Battlefield 4. I'm guessing they're going to keep the old one, and I hope they improve the battle log. they got to make some more changes to it. Got to include more stats, I'd say, and they said they were, from what I've heard, and they're going to make it more user-friendly, I guess you could say. Uh, I guess sending friend requests and that sort of stuff. Going to work that in a little better. But another thing that they really need to do, and I can't stress this enough, is they need competitive support. It cannot just be one game just driving around you know just have fun it's good to have fun but for a game to really su succeed you need the competitive side competitive teams and not just play a scrim once a week it needs to be you gotta have tournaments because battlefield was supposed to have a 1.6 million dollar tournament for virgin gaming never happened and that really killed the competitive scene when the teams finally realized that wasn't happening it was gone so if they're gonna announce some sort of tournament for battlefield 4 they definitely need to go through it through with it. Whoever it announces it, Battlefield. It's not. It wasn't Battlefield's fault that the Virgin Gaming tournament didn't happen. But that just shows they need to really push that as aspect and get game modes in there and map sizes where it can be competitive, not just for vehicles but also for ground combat, just infantry combat. And I, I wouldn't mind the maps being. I like Metro, but it, it gets kind of old. Just fighting in a line back and forth. Everyone knows where to just sit, and you just get those choke points. I really hope they kind of get rid of those choke points. And allows for flanking more and more of a gameplay instead of just sit there, put your bipod down and just, you know, spray and pray. So that's kind of my thoughts on Battlefield 4. I really think it is going to be good. I really do think it is. Some people are saying, oh, I don't know, they might just make the same thing. Start making it like Call of Duty, just make one every other year. I, I really don't think they're going to do that. I really think they're going to do a good job, take their time, awesome maps, not have as many problems. I hope the beta doesn't have as many problems. I'm, it's a beta, so it's going to have problems, but... I, I don't want to be falling under the, gra under the ground, you know, but so that's going to be a lot of fun, you guys. So that's my thoughts on Battlefield 4. Really looking forward to when it comes out. Definitely going to get back on that. And like I said, I'm going to try to get it on the new Xbox. So I don't know if the new Xbox will be out by then. So I don't know how that's going to work. So we'll see. When any new information comes out, I'll be making commentaries about it, talking about it. Give you guys my thoughts. So if you enjoyed it, rate this video, like, comment, share. And thank you guys, and I will see you guys later.